The Formula One world is yet to recover from the shock that Lewis Hamilton gave us by announcing his move to Ferrari in 2025. It's a move that will surely have a lot of repercussions throughout the 2024 season and even beyond. Hamilton is set to leave Mercedes at the end of the season to take up a new seat alongside Charles Leclerc, but has been handed a significant blow to any hopes of reuniting with some of his key team members. Hamilton had spent over a decade at Brackley working with Toto Wolff's outfit and understandably has built up some very close relationships with colleagues that he trusts, most notably his race engineer, Peter Bonington, also known as Bono. Bono has been by Hamilton's side throughout his entire tenure at Mercedes and was one of the first names mentioned with a potential move to Ferrari to join in his footsteps. This move is not uncommon in F1, as top drivers often bring along key members from their previous teams to help ease their transition into a new environment. When Michael Schumacher moved from Benetton to Ferrari, he took a number of key engineers with him. Mercedes, however, have prevented that in Hamilton's contract. Hamilton put pen to paper on a reported two-year deal with Ferrari, and almost as soon as it had been announced, speculation began as to which Mercedes staff would follow him. According to F1 reports, Mercedes had a clause inserted in Hamilton's latest contract. That clause prohibits Hamilton from asking other employees to also switch to Ferrari if he leaves for another team. Hamilton can't, with this clause, ask Bonington to go with him. Still, it cannot be ruled out that Mercedes employees might make the switch to Ferrari on their own accord or be approached by Ferrari for a switch. Hamilton himself would not be allowed to make contact, but Ferrari cannot be prohibited from taking staff from Mercedes. They did the same before Hamilton's arrival by recruiting Sarah, Mercedes' former performance director. The scenario brings to mind similar situations in the past, such as when Fernando Alonso's move to McLaren saw the transfer of engineer Andrea Stella, contrasting with Sebastian Vettel's move to Ferrari, which was not followed by his engineer due to a similar clause in his contract with Red Bull. It is still unexpected as to whether Bonington is willing to relocate to Italy. Wolf has suggested that the subject will come up. I think this is a discussion which everyone needs to have in the months to come. And as much as I've spoken with Bono already, when I told him about Hamilton's move, he said, is it April the 1st? That's something which we will discuss in the future. A complication for Bonington is that he would have to stay at the Brackley team until the final race of the season in Abu Dhabi, which is December 8th. This would result in a tight gardening leave to Ferrari. Hamilton will find familiar faces at Maranello. Former Mercedes performance director Serra will officially begin at Ferrari next year. Questions will be asked for Carlos Sainz's race engineer, Ricardo Adami. As Hamilton is replacing Sainz, he could end up out of the team if Bonington joins. However, it is still unclear as to what Bonington will do. There's no doubt that Mercedes is Hamilton's team, at least it still is. And there's also no doubt that Ferrari is built around Charles Leclerc. For anyone who thinks that there's no clear favorite at Ferrari, just the fact that the Scuderia was willing to tie down Leclerc till 2029, while not even willing to give a two or three year extension to Carlos Sainz, is proof enough that Ferrari is Leclerc's team. And so, Hamilton is entering the territory of Leclerc. Now it's clear that there will be no favorites at Ferrari as long as Hamilton is there, because the seven time world champion will be no one's number two but Leclerc knows the team like the back of his hand, and Hamilton will need some time to adjust to the new culture at Ferrari. He will need all the help possible from the team to settle down as quickly as possible. Hamilton may be arriving at Ferrari as a seven-time world champion, but he has been warned Leclerc could do to him what Nico Rosberg did to Michael Schumacher at Mercedes. It's a lineup that has pundits salivating with two of the sport's best drivers going head-to-head -head in equal machinery. And even though it's still more than a year before their first Grand Prix as teammates, pundits are already debating who'll come out on top. Swiss racing driver turned pundit Schurer believes it will be Leclerc, and that he could show up Hamilton, as Rosberg did Schumacher during their time together at Mercedes. Leclerc is a big problem for Hamilton because Leclerc will be faster. Anything else would surprise me. It reminds me a bit of the situation with Michael Schumacher during his comeback with Mercedes. A certain Nico Rosberg put him in his place, and Lewis Hamilton could feel the same way. He believes Hamilton is taking a big risk swapping to Ferrari. With Hamilton on his way out of the door, Sura believes Mercedes could be in for a really difficult season. Although Toto Wolff has insisted he will continue to be fair with Hamilton in a sporting sense, when it comes to development, that could be a different story. Mercedes now has to rely entirely on Russell, but they're not allowed to 
because you can't give a seven-time world champion second-class material. That means they have to treat both of them equally. That, of course, makes things difficult for Mercedes because they only have a chance against Max Verstappen if they rely on one. He doubts Hamilton's move to Ferrari is motivated by money, despite reports of a deal in excess of $400 million all-inclusive, saying it's more likely the desire to race for Ferrari. I think it's just the racing driver Lewis Hamilton who wants to do this now. I don't think money played the decisive role. While the news came as a surprise to team boss Wolf, who was told about Hamilton's decision over breakfast the day before the announcements went out, he now has to get on with the business of finding a replacement driver. Any driver who doesn't have a 2025 contract could potentially be in the mix. Hamilton will be 40 years old when he will join Ferrari. For that reason, Wolf can imagine that time is running out for Hamilton, who said he wants to fulfill a childhood dream with his move to Ferrari. But Wolf is not so sure if he can get better results at Ferrari. He stated that the difference between Mercedes and Ferrari in 2023 was extremely small. Moreover, Mercedes finished ahead of the Scuderia in the Constructors' Championship with a three-point lead. If he had gone to Red Bull Racing, the drive behind it would have been clear. That is the best package in the short term. At the same time, he says he understands Hamilton's concerns about his team's performance. Mercedes failed to win a single race in 2023, and that does not tell the whole story, according to the team boss. What was perhaps not so visible to him was the energy that is in the team, the drive to do things better. I have no idea how many more times we will fall, but I know we always get back up. If we look back in 10 or 20 years, we will have many more world championships. But of course, that's a long-term perspective, and that no longer matters for Lewis. Wolf insists that there are no hard feelings between himself and fellow team boss Vasseur after the move. I have great respect for Fred, not only as a racing manager, but also as a longtime friend. But when he took the role in Ferrari, it was clear that he needs to do the best he can for Ferrari, and use every opportunity in order to do that. So, there is no bad feeling towards Fred trying to get the best employees, the best drivers. So that has no effect on the relationship. It is a tough competition, it is a cutthroat environment. And as much as I try to do the best for our group, he will do that for Ferrari. Asked if he had spoken directly to Vasseur since Hamilton's switch, Wolf replied, yeah, numerous times. We're coordinated on our communications, and I speak to him multiple times every week. And you know, it's a little bit like rugby, we punch each other in the nose, but we are able to get off the pitch and have a respectful relationship. It's this fighting nature that could help the 2024 F1 season turn out to be one of the best we have witnessed in a while. Having fought so closely on track in 2023, Mercedes and Ferrari are perfectly poised to continue their battle this season as both chase Red Bull for the chance to dethrone their dominance. So, do you think Lewis Hamilton made the right decision to join Ferrari? Do you think he can win an eighth world championship with the team? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for the latest F1 news.